That is just coming out of the ground. What is up guys? I am Sabo and welcome back to Louisiana. So today guys, I am very excited to show you something that I have actually loved out here in Louisiana. So, you know, in other, in other states, you know, and, and in other countries, sometimes it's kind of hard to get water. Well, let me tell you something. Here in Louisiana, we don't have that problem. In fact, what we can do is we can stick a pipe in the ground and water will practically come out of the pipe. I mean, that's, 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 I mean, you don't realize how much of a blessing water is until you can just actually stick a pipe in the ground and water comes out instead of, you know, having to battle over water rights and all that stuff. But today I'm going to be showing you a water well or not a well, a spring, a natural spring in Louisiana where we actually go to get water. And it's a really beautiful spot and there's a creek by it. I think we're going to go see the creek. And I'm really excited to bring you guys along and show you this. So, let's go. Alright, so we are here looking for water. And I can kind of smell this little smell here. And what I think it is, is it, I think there's uh, mineral sulfur in the water. So, let's see. I hear water running and i'm looking for the spring oh here's the spring guys right here so this is the spring and i mean it's just this metal pipe stuck in the ground and you know in some places you know there's this shortage of water and you know they they're, they're fighting over water rights and trying to get enough water but out here you know in louisiana oh look here's a doggo hey what's your name you coming to get some water yeah hey say hi to the vlog say hi youtube I don't know who sees this, but anyway, some just out in Louisiana, there's just pipes stuck in the ground with water flowing out of them. So anyway, you know, the various natural springs out here have, you know, different minerals in them. And this spring here actually has sulfur as the mineral in it. So you can see all the, the white and the green minerals flowing down out of this water here. And uh, there's this little, um, these two little statues over here. And, you know, if you know the Bible story of Hagar and Ishmael, when they uh, ran out of water in the desert and they were about to die, and then some angels showed them where the water was, well, that's why these two statues are here, I think. So, it's a really neat little spot. And there's also a creek out here, so in a minute we're going to go look for that creek. So here is Hagar looking for water, and here are the angels, and this one actually lost its head. But these are the angels here showing her where the water is right there so anyway this place used to be a resort and people would come here to take a bath in the sulfur water but it, anyway it really became well known for the water here and right now I'm standing in this little ditch it kind of looks like you can see and there's a spring right there and here's this little ditch and what we think this is is this actually used to be a roadway where people could drive their truck down here and fill it up with sulfur water from here and they could load up with sulfur water and this used to be an old roadway down here. So that's pretty interesting. All right, so you know, here's the white bucket and we're gonna do an experiment with this bucket. We're gonna put it on the pipe and let the water flow into it. And as you can see, the green minerals and the white minerals, the white is probably the sulfur. I'm not sure what the green is. We're gonna put this bucket and fill it up with water and we're gonna see if there's any dirt in the water or not. So here we go. We're gonna put the bucket on here and you can hang it right on that little pipe. And it's gonna fill up and we're gonna see what color the water comes out as if it's white if it's green or if it's clear so let's see right now it actually looks pretty clean all right and it's just about filled up as you can see and now that we can see the, all the water it actually looks very clean compared to this green and white little stuff out here so that's pretty impressive so probably what happens is as all the minerals are coming out the water evaporates and leaves more of the mineral content than there is when it's just you know at saturation point in the water and here you can see this is actually some really clean water and we do filter it but this water is very clean for just coming out of the ground and coming out of the source that it's coming from all right so you can see the water flowing and here's a timer and this is a two gallon bucket so wait wait uh, actually let's not do that so I am going to hit start right when we put the bucket under there. So, all right, put it on your hot start. Boom. All right, timer is going, and the bucket is filling up. This is a two-gallon bucket, and we're gonna see how long it takes it up, takes it to fill up. We'll divide it in half and see how long it takes it 
to spit out one gallon of water from this pipe. And we're at 20 seconds right now. 30 seconds, it's just about full. All right, and it's full. And I hit stop, and that is 37 seconds. Can you guys see that? It is 37 seconds, it's not focusing, focus. Well, it is 37.93 seconds to fill up a two gallon bucket of water. So, how long would that be? That would be um, uh, 20, no, 19 seconds to fill up one gallon. So this pipe is putting out 20, uh, sorry, one gallon every 19 seconds. And you know, this, this spring is about 100 years old. So it has been putting out a gallon of water every 19 seconds for probably about over 100 years. And that's pretty impressive just for some water coming out of the ground. But here's the impressive thing, you know, we're just out in the middle of the woods, uh, you can see, and then just, you know, right in the middle of the woods, there's this spring of water, it's just flowing water continually, and you know, there's no tap, you don't turn it off or you don't turn it on, it's just flowing water. We just filled up, we have uh, two five gallon buckets and one two gallon bucket, so we just got 12 gallons of water, so now it's time to go turn off the faucet, oh wait, no, sorry. Sorry guys, there is no faucet to turn off. So we now have our 12 gallons of water and we're ready to head back, but I think first we're gonna go find the creek. So here's this bridge and it is actually over the creek down there as you can see. And we're not really sure, this bridge is a little different than your normal bridge you would kind of see. And you see there's a gate there. So we're not really sure if this used to be a military bridge or what. But it's a pretty interesting bridge that's out here in front of the, the water well and over the creek. So let's see if we can get down to the creek and get a better look at it. All right, so there's the bridge and we are trying to get down to the creek now. So let's see if we can make it down here without crashing. This is kind of soft right here. And there's a little piece of it flowing down. Oh look, this is actually kind of a stream in itself. Look at this, that is just coming out of the ground. That's so neat. Look, that is just coming right out of the ground and then flowing down here. Wow. And here's the creek. And this is a kind of a little sandy spot with some gravel in it. And then here's the creek and you can see it and it goes all the way back there. And there's some little, the bank over there which is pretty neat. This is really neat. And then here's the creek and the uh, well is over there. And then right here is the bridge that you can see right there. And it's just this little creek and this little sandy bar right in the middle of it. And see this gravel? There's probably gravel all under this really beautiful creek. And all that gravel is holding water from the creek and from the rain. And it's all getting pushed out in that one spot right where that water well is and probably where the other little stream is that I showed you earlier. And that's pretty impressive. Look at how beautiful this creek is, guys. And it goes all the way back over there. That's and it looks like it has another little spot that goes out that way. So that's that's really neat. Man, I love my spring water. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video, and you can kind of see how you know in, in some other states like California and, and Nevada and some other countries where you know there's you know there's a lack of water and people are actually kind of you know struggling to get water and there's you know have to pay a lot of money to get water rights and all that. Well, out here in Louisiana, you just stick a pipe in the ground and the water comes out. So, you know, that's kind of what happened in Louisiana. And it's pretty neat, you know, it's just some gravel under there that traps water. And the water just gets pushed out by the hydrostatic pressure, you know, out of that one spot. And they stuck a pipe in the ground and the water comes out of the pipe. But that's what the spring is. I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe, share this video with your grandmother and all your other friends. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.